Hey friends! I don't even know if you can hear me because I'm in this pool area. It is very loud. But I thought I would check in and say hi and invite you to accept the truth. And that truth is that you are bold, you are fearless, and you are worthy of designing the life of your dreams. So whoever is telling you that you're not, just know that it is that resistance that affirms you are on the right track. So if you found yourself feeling stuck and uncertain about your next step because of other people's opinions, I want to invite you to create a new mantra for your day. Hey Jackie, how are you? Um, create a new mantra for your day. Write the opposite of what they are saying about you or what you're even saying in your own head. You know, we spent yesterday talking about these limiting beliefs that hold people back. Can you guys hear me? Please drop an emoji or a good morning below to let me know if you can hear me. Um, because I'm standing near a hot tub with a waterfall. See it over my shoulder? And I think it's loud enough in here that they can't hear me talking to you. <laughs> So, what we covered yesterday at our leadership retreat, it really was about stepping into who you were designed to be and the message that you were meant to bring into the world. And so often, we allow other people to tell us what we should believe and how we should think and what we're worthy of achieving in life. And then we can easily self-sabotage or hit our upper limit and then something happens and it derails us, right? Have you guys seen that before in your life? Maybe it was someone's opinion. Maybe it is these little thoughts in your very own mind happening that are holding you back. So what I want you to consider is if you would sit down and write the lies, just write the lies. In fact, type a lie that you tell yourself right now. Because one of the lies that I used to tell myself was, well, I don't have anything to share on a live video. Uh, everybody else has already said that before. <laughs> and what I realized was it was actually my story and my vulnerability that attracted new and different people to start their exploration of personal development and building a business and being an entrepreneur. And so actually that was a lie that I told myself right? That nobody wanted to hear what I had to say. And I changed it. I changed it. My affirmation became, I have a message that people need to hear. And that quickly transformed into, I can save people's lives. And there's some people that are going to say, oh, she's so full of herself for even thinking that. But it's happened already. I have had people tell me that. I have helped, helped save their life because I have spent time um, visiting with them and seeing them for who they are and encouraging them. And when the student is ready, the teacher appears. And I know that I'm a teacher, I am a visionary, and I am a way shower, right? I light the path. I'm not, I don't do this because I want all the accolades and the spotlight on me. I do this because I believe that God placed me uniquely on this earth to help show people the way back to their heart, back to what's true for them and to love themselves. That I know, my friends, is my passion and my gift. And so if I keep it a secret, if I didn't even explore and overcome all of these social anxiety that I had growing up and the shyness that I had and the fact that I failed speech class, then where would I be today? How would I help people change their lives, right? So think about how you are telling yourself lies and then write the opposite. That becomes your new mantra. That's what I wanna hear you guys sharing with yourselves out loud. Tell yourself this, Michelle, you know. Um, you know this. And tell yourself about how life-changing and life-giving, um, what impact you can create for others, right? Because truly, together we shine, right? Together we shine, together we rise, united we stand, and we do this together. And that's just the thing. When you're going live and you're making a video or you're speaking in front of a room, it's really not about put the spotlight on me. It's more about can my story help someone? Can I serve someone in some way? 
that shifts the focus. And when that shifts the focus and you get into the heart of service, that's where you'll be able to shine and you'll just suddenly think, where are these words coming from? Michelle, right? She started doing her videos after some of my encouragement around this. And it's true. All of a sudden you're like, where are these words coming from? Well, the truth is you all have this within you already. You have your personal experiences. You have the challenges you've overcome. So start sharing your story and your journey because that is what inspires people. And when you share your journey, your story resonates with people and it does save lives. It does in so many ways. And it might be in the way that someone decides to stop living a humdrum life of settling for less than their potential, right? Think about that. If you give someone an, uh, that spark of inspiration that helps them to then live their life in a way that inspires other people and live their life in a way that they can live out loud without worrying about other people's opinions, isn't that saving someone's life? It's so much better than just being uh, insecure and hiding right so get out there and be visible and share your story because there is someone that if you share that story today you will save their life in the sense that you will light that spark so sorry about the loudness I'm in the pool here at the Ritz Carlton in Charlotte North Carolina um, and this is something too I used to feel so embarrassed for desiring to stay in a luxury hotel like it was a big fat waste <laughs> but what I realized is it's really all relative the more income I earn, the more my time is money, the more where I stay really does matter. And there were the days that I would pack four to six people in a room and simply eat a granola bar and oatmeal out of the packet dry. Yes, there were the days. There were the days. <laughs> so I don't know if you caught my Instagram story today, but I was sharing about our breakfast and ordering and it was kind of funny. I kind of did something funny over there. and. Um, Anyway, just wanted to say hi, you guys, because I'll be traveling later today, and I just love each and every one of you, and I want you to know this. You are amazing, and you are here for a purpose and a reason, and you are worthy of sharing your story and being seen and being heard, so no more hiding. Okay? Do you agree? Are you up for the challenge? No more hiding. So please comment below, what is your takeaway today from the video? And can you hear me? I don't even know. So I love you guys, and I'll talk to you all soon. Take care. I'll try and go live tomorrow, but I might be exhausted. I don't know. That happens sometimes after I travel because I'm an introvert, and it really drains me. And that's normal, right? I know this about myself. I don't keep it from not, I don't let it keep me from going. Okay. I'll share more about my travels with you guys this week. Love ya. Bye-bye. Oh, and here, I want to show you the view. Tall buildings are in the heart of downtown, but isn't that a pretty building? I like the designs here. And there's a park down the street there. All right. Mwah. Love you, love you, love you. We'll talk soon. Bye.